Now, this video is, I mean, let, let's be real, guys. The, the game is not in a good state. The other day, I was explaining how The Division 2 is in a vulnerable state right now because of all the things going on with it currently. And that Year 5 does look like it's, you know, gonna have some exciting things, and there's a lot of rumors going around and whatnot that all sound really fun and good and all, but... Right now, like right this second, season 11, this is in a really, really, really bad state. Really bad. And, I mean, this video is just another thing explaining why. Now, the Anderson mission, okay? A lot of you are probably going to roll your eyes and be like, oh, here we go, the Anderson mission. Well, back before it was an XP farm... <laughs> Um, it used to be an exotic farm, so we're going to talk about that, okay? Here we go. What's going on, YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Division 2 video. Now, shout out to the DoD Disciples of Doom. And in today's Division 2 video, we're going to talk about the stealth nerf to the Anderson mission. There are no more exotics dropping from the Anderson mission which was once a mission to guarantee you an exotic upon completion. It didn't matter if you were on normal, hard, challenging, heroic, what have you. It didn't matter if you had directives on. didn't matter if you did anything at all. didn't matter if you had a good build or not. As long as you completed that mission, you were given an exotic. Um, at your first completion, you were given a doctor home, which, by the way, side note, um, who's gotten their doctor home yet? Didn't they say in December that they were going to give out Dr. Holmes? Didn't they say in December that after the holiday break, they would do a mass um, Dr. Holmes giveaway to every player just in case you didn't get it? Didn't they say that in December? Huh. Huh. Okay. Because it's the second half of March right now. Hmm. Okay. Well, anyways, this mission uh, would give you a Dr. Home at first completion, and then every time after that, when you would replay it, it would give you a random exotic drop from the general loot pool. Now, the general loot exotic pool would give you things like um, the Coyote's Mask, the Acosta's Go Bag, uh, BTSU Gloves, the Waveform Holster... Um, you know, the tardigrade chess piece, you know, things like this, right? And it didn't matter. They were just all your general loot exotics. And it was random. You could do this mission over and over and over and over and over, but as long as you completed it, you were given an exotic. Until Title Update 17. Now, Title Update 17, I did a video and said that now it's not a guaranteed exotic, but now it's more of a one in four chance exotic because I would do the mission over and over and over and about every four completions, I would get an exotic. And it was pretty consistent. Um, so I was, you know, safe to say it was from a guaranteed 100% drop rate to about a 25% drop rate, right? Well, since then, Tuesday came around... <laughs> Well, last Tuesday, anyways. And title update 17.1 hit the streets. And, well, we, we got a certain patch note that said something odd about the General Anderson um, mission. And it said that the Dr. Home was not the only exotic to drop in the mission anymore. Which was odd, because it was never the only exotic to drop in the mission. Never. When the, when the mission first came out, they accidentally made it to where after you completed it the first time, you would get a guaranteed drop. But it was random. They initially wanted it to be the Dr. Home. Boom, 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 boom. Right? So we go from a 100% guaranteed drop chance to roughly about a 25% to now, since Tuesday... It's been a 0% chance. So this officially is a stealth nerf from the developers to yet another farming method 
that we all use. Now, for any of you confused, this is the mission we were talking about, the General Anderson mission. Now, once you complete it, it will unlock and you can keep it here forever. And um, also, if you did not complete it last mission, or last season, my bad, I believe you can get it um, unlocked in here. Let's see, that's Roosevelt. This is Tidal Basin, Coney Island, Camp White Oak, Jefferson Trade Center. There it is, right here. So at level 49 for the season, you can unlock this if you do not already have it unlocked. However, it doesn't matter anymore because you don't get an exotic to drop. Now, the developers have stated that they reverted it back to a normal mission drop chance. And if that's the case, I'll read all those numbers out to you and whatnot. But even still, that does not like uh, check with the patch notes. So either way, they did something behind the scenes, and they're not being transparent about it to yet another farming method that the community loved to do. I mean, the Anderson mission was actually a fun mission to run. You can run this solo on any difficulty, and it was a guaranteed exotic drop. So you could run this mission and have fun. It made it replayable. So what they just did is made it just like all the other missions. It's just the same, which then dubs it not replayable, just like all the... <laughs> Anyways, all right, I'm going to show you the patch notes. We're going to talk about this some more, and uh, let's look and see what the developer said. So here we go. Let's jump over to Twitter. Here we go. So here is the patch note in question. This just came out on Tuesday with title update 17.1. And it's under the manhunt portion of the patch notes. And it says that the Dr. Home exotic rifle is no longer the only exotic awarded when completing the General Anderson Climax mission. Now, this does not mean that it, you know, removed exotics from the mission. It's just saying that the Dr. Home is no longer the only exotic you can get. Now, it's confusing because in previous patch notes, it was already said that this was changed. So, now that it's shown up again, it just, it, it, it you know, it's odd to me, you know. Now, the only thing I can think of to justify this being in the patch notes again and under the manhunt is that now this is a replayable mission that you can unlock in this season, right? It's no longer the primary manhunt target mission like it was last season. So now it's a replayable you know, manhunt boss mission that you can earn back while you know progressing through season 11 if you haven't already unlocked it or you can just go ahead and replay it right now over and over now um looking at this it's just it's just saying that the normal exotics would drop now if i go back to my old little spreadsheet for exotic drops um in missions right just normally okay here it is your exotic drop chance in all missions. Normal, you have a 1% chance of getting it to drop. Hard, you have a 3% chance of getting an exotic to drop. Challenging, 5%. Heroic, 7%. And legendary, 9%. Now, you can't do the Anderson mission in legendary, so that would mean that the highest possible percentage of you getting an exotic right now in the Anderson mission is roughly 7%. Now, if you were to just put that in, you know, uh, different means, that would be 100 of us do the Anderson mission right now, and only 7 of us would get an exotic to drop. However, it's really hard for me to believe that, because all of the reports and everyone playing the actual live game right now has indicated that they have not had an exotic drop from Anderson since 
Title Update 17.1. So that would indicate a, what, like a shadow nerf, right? Because we started off with the Anderson mission. It started off as the very first time you do it, you get the exotic home, or you get the exotic, the doctor home. And then every time after that, it was a random general loot exotic drop. It was actually guaranteed. This was the best way to play the game for a guaranteed exotic, where no matter what you did, as long as you completed that mission, you were able to get an exotic. And in fact, it made it the only way in the game, period, to get a guaranteed exotic in the game. Because there's nothing else in the game that would be a guaranteed exotic drop no matter what until this Anderson mission. So, with the uh, rollout of title update 17, right, two updates ago, um, we tested out the Anderson mission and I was getting an exotic to drop every, eh, every four to five runs, right? So I would say it was roughly a 20 to 25% chance, just based off of my own RNG, right? Now, since then, since Tuesday, title update 17.1, I have not got one exotic, not one. I have done normal over 20 times. I have done hard about about four or five times. Challenging, I would say, probably twice now. And I have done it solo on heroic three different times. And not once did I get an exotic. I tried it on every single difficulty. No luck. Nothing. Now, it was odd with me. But then I started going around, you know, YouTube and talking to some of my content creator friends, and same thing. I mean, you had Sergeant Greybeard in the Gaming Brigade, you know, last week, show that he did it 10 times in a row and didn't get not one exotic to drop, to where he's convinced you're not going to be able to get an exotic to drop. And I completely agree with him. We also have my buddy uh, DJ Tickle over there on Twitch and YouTube. Uh, doing the same thing. He's farming Anderson over and over with uh, his friends and his viewers, and no exotics are dropping, nothing. So much so that then he made a video explaining that he doesn't think exotics are dropping anymore in the Anderson mission. Now, is this a stealth nerf? I would say yes. I would say yes, this is a stealth nerf. Because you went from a mission giving you a guaranteed exotic no matter any difficulty, no matter what you were doing, guaranteed exotic every time you completed the mission, to noticeably a shadow nerf, making it about you know once to every four to five times you do the mission. And now we can't get it to drop at all, not once. And let me know in the comments if you have ran the Anderson mission at all since Tuesday and if you have gotten an exotic. You can either say, man, I've ran it a few times, never had it. Or, yeah, I ran it, you know, twice or whatever and I did get an exotic to drop. Either way, let us know in the comments. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave you with some gameplay. I'm doing the Anderson mission on normal, hard, challenging, and heroic I'm only showing you the end parts where I complete the mission, except for when I solo the Anderson mission on Heroic. I felt like I should uh, show you guys the full gameplay on that one. But anyways, I can't get it to drop, so I'm going to say that this is a shadow nerf and is not dropping in the game. And even worse, I've been hearing reports about the DZ drops and how no one, no one is getting the Eagle Bearer. Or the Bighorn. I think I heard of two people that have gotten the Ravenous, but that's it. I mean, what's up with these exotic drops? And by the way, why does it cost 20 exotics per, you know, level upgrade in expertise once you hit a certain level? It's every single level. It's 20 exotics, 20 exotics, 20 exotics, and it's per item. So I would have to do that for my mask, for my gloves, for my holster, chest piece, backpack, 
my primary weapon, secondary weapon, my specialization, my skills. You know how expensive it is to get exotics? <laughs> Just to expertise upgrade? Let alone get them to drop at all. At all. This was our one exotic farm and it is gone. This is not an exotic farm anymore. At best, this is a fun little timed mission you can do if you want. But there's no leaderboards. There's no guaranteed exotic. You know, the targeted loot is there. Yeah, you could do that. I mean, it's it's a fun, fast-paced version of Countdown if you want to do that. But this is not, not an exotic farm anymore. All right, I'm over this. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I'm going to leave you with some gameplay. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day, everyone. Take care. Peace. Come on. All right, helicopter's in. And here we go. On normal difficulty, let's see the mission complete. Come on, come on. There we go. And big money, big money, big money. Negative. We got electronics. All right. Come on with it. Come on. Three, two, one. Let's go. All right. So here we are on hard difficulty. Helicopter is coming in. Come on. Um, I was told that these drops would happen. But it's looking like there are no exotics coming out of the Anderson mission anymore. All right. Here we go. Hard difficulty. And survey says... A custom PF-45. All right. There's hard difficulty. Bow, 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 bow. Five, four, three, two, one. Dana, bring in the helicopter. Get to the chopper. All right. So here we go. Uh, we are now on challenging difficulty. Helicopter is coming in. All right. Come on, challenging. Oh, controller. Is my controller dead? Oh, there it goes. Okay, stupid controller. All right, and survey says... Uh, XP and 5,500 E credits. What? Dude. Dude.
Agent, I need you to find a terminal and access the plant security system. We need to find Lewis. Active terminal detected. Download initiated. Contact! It's the division! You'll need to get that steam under control. I'm gonna need you to find a way to release some pressure. Water valve detected nearby. need to vent the remaining steam and you should be good to go. into the Black Tusks network to see where they moved Lewis. Server terminal detected. Beginning search query. Agent, I've got a location on Fred. Get to the reactor. Take left. Asset is secure. Hostiles took out a friendly. I'm gonna be out here all day. I know it. Advance and sweep forward. Copy that.
system offline insufficient water pressure detected those fuckers shut off the water you need to open the valves to get the system back online water valve detect insufficient water pressure detected Increased water pressure detected. Increased water pressure detected. Fire suppression system back online. Lewis and Signal Torres for extraction. Fred, what are you doing? Fred! He's already gone, isn't he? God damn it. This is General Anderson. Thanks for the assist. I look forward to working with you. Happy hunting. We're leaving. Get back to the hovercraft. Ready. Send up a flare so Torres can pick you up. Black Tusk Hovercraft closing in on the plant. ETA 10 minutes. Get that healer ready. I'm on my way. Torres inbound on your location. 
Hold tight. She'll get you home. Don't leave without me. Circle around us. Immediate medical assistance needed. Serious trauma. is in position. Ready for extraction. Get on the ship. 